let's play a little game. I'm gonna throw out a word and you find a word to go with it. Ready? Engine. Okay, yell them out. Fire engine, yep, keep them coming. Gas engine, search engine. All right, okay, you can stop shouting. Now, if I had asked you that question a few hundred years ago, there would have been pretty much only one answer. Steam. Sure, your delicious lattes and hot cocos are made with steam. Yes, steam pressing a suit is really the only way to get all the wrinkles out. But those examples understate the vital importance of vaporized water. Pioneering car maker Henry Ford loved steam power and steam engines. In 1910, Ford built what was then the world's largest automobile manufacturing plant to meet the demand for his hugely popular car, the Model T. The plant in Highland Park, Michigan, was a modern marvel that ran 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and required lots of energy. Even more so when Ford's assembly line came along in 1913. Nine massive steam engines were needed to generate the power to keep the Model T's rolling. The Henry Ford's head curator, Mark Gruther, showed me one of them. This is the Highland Park engine. It's one of nine engines that were used at the Highland Park plant of Ford Motor Company. You know, it's my, you call this an engine. Right, it is an engine. Actually, it's two engines, and we're actually underneath the engine. We're right next to the generator. But yeah, this is an engine. This wheel? What right. do you call it? It's a flywheel. So in essence, that's part of how this machine functions in order to create a, an even rotary motion driving that electrical generator. That's in two pieces linked together. Massive piece of machinery in its own right. This was powering an assembly line? Yes, this was generating electricity for all the machines that were, in essence, part of that whole production sequence. You could not have built the Model T without the electricity that was being generated by this and the eight other engines. The design and craftsmanship that went into building this Highland Park steam engine is a work of art in its own right. And Henry Ford demanded it be kept in pristine working condition. And over here? Well, this is the underside of the engine. The level above us was the original floor level. That's where the engines are. So these are air pumps, a condenser, an oil separator. So yeah, we're looking at the sort of lower workings. This was a basement. And over here well, is a giant it, utensil. <laughs> it is a utensil in a way. If we ever need a spare connecting rod, we've got one. This would have been connected to another one of the engines, converts reciprocating back and forth motion to rotary motion, fundamental to the machine. Would it move like this? Or? No, this would go back and forth, like kind of like that. We've all done that motion. Oh, right, of That's course. That's it, this is it. Yeah, a, a wedding dance move. There we go. Yeah. Henry Ford's story was part of that story of the Industrial Revolution. This engine was part of that whole achievement that he was fundamental to. This really mattered to him. It did matter to him. And steam power matters to us, too. Otherwise, we'd never get that perfect Tall, half-calf, soy, skinny vanilla latte, please. Oh, and could you add some whip and drizzle? 